everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today using the Sunny Splash stamp set. Um, I was inspired by a photo I saw online of a woman who had taken old vintage bathing suits and framed them and hung them on the wall as art. I thought it was adorable. So it kind of inspired me to, to do this kind of a simple, um, you know, frame type arrangement on my card. Now I'm using a couple of other things. Sunny Splash is a star on my blog this week. I'm doing lots of projects with that. Um, I'm using the wonderful Charming Sentiments stamp set and matching dies as well. And then the new Artistic Mix um, masks. I love masks. So we're going to ink up that background and create that background with this new mask. Okay, well, let's get started. Um, the first thing we need to do is that use that mask to create the background. So grab yourself some grid paper. And I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. I've cut it much larger than I need. I like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room when I am using masks. That way I can trim it down. Um, I, you know, tend to have these pieces of tape or whatever um, around the edges. And so if I make the piece bigger than I need it, then I can just trim those off. All right. So I'm going to put the mask here. Let's see. You know what? I think what we'll do, let's move those pieces of tape. My paper is longer than it is tall. So we will put that like that. And then we'll tape our mask down. I'm going to use um, the lines on my grid paper to make sure that it's nice and straight. Now I am using Knight of Navy and a blending brush. And this is going to give your arm a nice workout. Ink it up and start on the grid paper first. And then just with a kind of a circular motion, start moving up and down your piece of paper. And you can do this as dark or as light as you want. Knight of Navy is a dark color. So you really aren't gonna need a whole lot unless you want it really, really dark, which I didn't want it super dark. So I'm not gonna do too much more. Kind of go back and forth, fill in all those squares. All right, now, I wanted to give it a little more texture, so I'm taking my dark Knight of Navy stamp and blend and flicking ink all over those squares as well. Okay, now let's see how we did. All right, it looks awesome. All right, so let's peel this off. And let me move this mess out of the way. We're gonna grab our trimmer. And we're gonna cut it down to four by five and a fourth. Okay. So I'm gonna start on the side or the short side, make it four. And then we will do five and Fourth. Let's see, five and a fourth right there. My eyes have a hard time seeing those little lines. Okay, now I have a Knight of Navy piece of cardstock that is just an eighth of an inch bigger. I am going to map that like that. And then we'll get our white card base. And we will mat it, or we will adhere it to the card base. Okay, now let's stamp our cute little bathing suits. You have several choices of bathing suits here. You can use whatever bathing suits you want. I, let's see what I used. I used the polka dot, the stripe, and the little two-piece. Now I have cut out three stitched rectangles from basic white. Let me tell you how big they are. About two and seven eighths by one and a half, in case you're wondering. All right, let's start with Parakeet Party. And we're gonna stamp that one right there in the middle. 
Okay, that's one of our new in colors. And then we'll do Daffodil Delight. Right in the middle of that one. And then last but not least, my favorite color, Polished Pink. Okay, now we're gonna mount these on here with dimensionals. And I'm gonna start with that Parakeet Party one first, kind of up in the left corner, about right there. And then I'm gonna take the polished pink one, and she's gonna be over about a square's difference, down like that. And then we'll take that Daffodil Delight and we're gonna just kind of center her right there. Okay, let's see, maybe we're down over a little bit like that. Okay, now for our sentiment, I am using that wonderful, um, charming sentiment. I don't know the names of everything yet. <laughs> charming sentiments. And I'm going to stamp it in Night of Navy, but I'm going to stamp off on scratch paper first and then stamp it so that it's a little bit lighter like our ink. Okay. All right. Now the most awesome part of this stamp set is that it has all these matching dies. So grab the one that matches and use your magnetic platform to get it centered and it'll hold it exactly where it's supposed to go. Let's see how we did. Beautiful. I usually fussy cut these things and now I don't have to. So fun. All right, now grab your dimensionals right here. And we're gonna stick this down here like that. Wishing you everything wonderful. All right, well, let's embellish now. I have cut out two tiny little hearts. These are from that same die set right here. And I'm going to put them I'm gonna put one down here and one at the top. These are polished pink. And then we've got these awesome new little pearls. They are called, let's see, ir iridescent pearls, basic jewels. Let me get some putty on my take your pick tool and we'll just add a few of these around our heart, our hearts. few there and we'll balance it out with a couple more up here like that and there you have it a fun card for you know birthday graduation all kinds of all kinds of reasons you could send a card that says wishing you everything wonderful now make sure you click the link here on youtube go back over to my blog i've got two more sunny splash projects as well as a free pdf with the measurements and the supply list and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss anything thanks everybody have a great day Bye bye